Today we are going to be making a hot tub that is 4x4. Four four. So what you're going to do, you're just going to be able to hop right in, turn it right on, and you're good to go. You got yourself a nice little hot tub that looks really, really nice and uh, can be put pretty much into any build. Uh, you can exchange these blocks out right here on the outside with any type of blocks that you want, whether it be stone, um, wood, as long as you're able to have slabs and stairs and solid blocks of them. Um, I did incorporate a lot of different quartz blocks into this build because I think the quartz looks very sharp. So let's go ahead and set this over to D and let's see what we're going to need for this build. So for the first part you're going to really be working on your redstone. So for your redstone you're going to need any type of block you want to use. You're going to need a repeater, a lever, redstone lamps, torches, redstone, and a sticky piston. So we're going to go ahead and start building with these materials to make this particular one right here, which is 4x4. Four four. You need to make an area dug out um, at least three blocks deep that's going to be an 8x8. Eight eight. So that's 1, 2, 3. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and completely dig this out. This is the most boring part of this build. But I like to have it all cleared out so that way it's good and easy to move around in here. Be able to do everything that you need to do. Almost done. Okay, so now the next step is to actually dig this row of blocks out within your build. And you'll see why when we start laying the redstone. So now we need to find the middle of this, which is gonna be four. It's gonna be four blocks in the middle. Um, one, two, three, four, four, and then one, two, three. Perfect. There's our four middle blocks. Now come off two on e either side this way, and then we are going to go up one and we're gonna go all the way around now we are going to place sticky pistons and in order to place these you need to place them where they're gonna be touching that block so that means they're gonna be right there okay now we're gonna go ahead and place them this is always the fun part. And then we're going to run them the same spots over here. There we are. Now break those two blocks right there. I don't like keeping those in the way. It allows you to move freely throughout your build. And place two blocks there with redstone torches. And then again over here with redstone torches. Now, <clears throat> you're also going to need some other stuff for this build for the redstone part. I don't even think I put it in there. I can't believe I completely forgot. You're going to need lava and you're going to need water. So the lava you're going to place right here and right here. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and place our redstone lamps going all the way around our build just like this and then we are going to take and start running our actual redstone so in order to shut these off rather than digging further back we're just gonna put them right into the side we're gonna keep this build nice and easy put them going right into the side 
And then we're also going to put redstone going into our redstone lights. Okay. Um, we're going to just do it just like this. There we are. And then we can start running redstone over there. Now we will need to put some repeaters in here. We will get that figured out as soon as we have our lever position figured out. Which we will be figuring out as soon as we're done running the redstone itself. And I like just having it all connected, make sure that it all works just like that. Now, to place our lever, which we're, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find a place that works very well. You don't want to do it right in the middle here. I like to put it off to the side, let's say right here. Um, I do like to put it one block up. So just to get this set up, we're going to go ahead and place this just like this uh, no not like that we are gonna place this just like this there we are that's what I was looking for going down and going all the way around now we don't need that there so if that's where we're gonna be placing our lever let's go ahead and turn around and see where we need to add in our repeaters. So it doesn't look like we need to add any repeaters in over here, which is awesome. Now to get to this side, all we need to do is run a redstone line right underneath here. And then what I like to do is just put a repeater going into that block. And there you go. Your redstone is done. I'm um, probably one of the easiest redstone builds that I've done. Now we're going to need the other cosmetic pieces of this. Let's go ahead and store all of that stuff up in there. We're going to need the lever again. And we're going to need whatever block you're going to use for the outside. You're going to need some slabs, stairs, glass, and I like to use some decorations like flower pots and such. Now the glass goes right in the middle. Then your blocks are going to go up one and all the way around the build again just like this and then we're gonna switch this lever out with a better looking block I like to put the lever going side to side I think it just looks a little better and now we're gonna go ahead and place our slabs now what I like to do is place them on the corners just like that and that's why we placed this lever where we did because we're going to go ahead and place stairs in between the slabs and that way it looks very sharp and at the same time your lever's not in your way for when you go to get in your hot tub now let's see stairs stairs more stairs and now you're going to place another block right there. And these are going to be what holds the flower pot. Okay. Um, if you want to, you can move this further away if you want to. I like keeping it right up close. That way you can hit it while you're inside your hot tub. Now for the decorations, just put your flower pots out there. And be creative with this, guys. You can do all kinds of stuff. Um... And I'll show you real quick, um, as soon as I'm done with this, exactly what I mean by be creative. There's a lot of other ways that you can make this look very, very nice other than using quartz. Like, you can use quartz and a lot of other things. So, hop in, turn her on, and there you go. You've got yourself a working hot tub. Now, some of the cosmetic things that I was talking about, if you want to take a type of wood. I like to use just regular wood and use that for placing your flower pots. Oh man, I just broke my lever. <laughs> now I like to have it going up instead of sideways. There we go. 
and then you can place your flower pot on there with your tulip it looks very nice okay you can do that all the way around too I'm just a fan of quartz look at me I'm breaking everything now yay mm -hmm. give me another lever but either way whatever you do to make it cosmetically look good as long as the redstone's there it'll be a working hot tub and it'll look very sharp for you guys so I hope you did enjoy this build um, if you do have any questions on it feel free to leave a comment and hopefully you did like it if you did go ahead and push the like button make sure to subscribe for more great content and we will see you next time